the Grant Kip Show, and today we will be talking about violence and how it affects its victims. Kip, do you think that past violent history in the UCSB shooter's life led him to do what he did in IV? Yes, it did, because probably in his past he probably got bullied or he probably got hurt or molested by his parents or something. Any kind of physical or mental breakdowns. Could Maybe rejection? Totally, yeah, rejection's definitely on his past and it could have totally affected it with his... Hello? I think I'm getting a phone call home. That means it's time to take, take a, a break! break. All right, so the theme of these quotes are going to be basically how to gain power from violence or power and violence hand in hand. Um, so the first one that we have is, what bloody man is that he can report as seemeth by his plight of the revolt, the newest state? Um, and that's basically just saying that the king, this is from Macbeth, and the king and all of his army are together, and the king is basically making the whole army do all the killing instead of him. So they're kind of done with doing his dirty work, and they're like, okay, well, we kill people. Like, why can't you do it? Um, the next one is Macbeth, well he deserves that name, disdaining fortune with his brandished steel which smokes with bloody execution. Um, that as well as kind of just saying like, okay, like we're, we're done killing for him and they've kind of retired with the king and made him kill um, himself, which has made him more cruel. Um, and the next violent quote that is kind of hand in hand with power is from Things Fall Apart. And a conqueror was not afraid of war. He was a man of action, a man of war. Unlike his father, he could stand the sight of blood. In Eumophia's latest war, he was the first to bring home a human head. So this is just showing that he's, he will literally do anything to gain um, power or self-righteousness, um, even if that means going the most roundabout, violent way. Look, do you want to be in or not? I do. I, what, do I, what do I need to do? See so right there? Yeah. Gone. I'll do it. Take I him can, out. I can do Take anything. I'll do anything to gain my power. Okay, you game? Good. Game. We need to talk. About? I am sick of killing innocent people. You're the one who made the commitment. I didn't know I would commit to kill innocent people. It's your turn. You need to get the blood on your hands, not mine. Well, what you're talking about is very broad, so to me, there are two kinds of war. If we start with war, there's only two kinds of war. War to steal someone else's land and war to protect your land. So if you're stealing, obviously it's wrong. If you're protecting, obviously it's right. Now, there's also intrigue, like assassinations. We've seen the U.S. do that around the world to get better governments in place, that's wrong because that's not democratic. Anything that's not democratic, I got questions about. So coup d'etat, violent, undemocratic. Revolution, democratic, I'm with it. That's really difficult because we have the um, Hitlers of the world that don't seem to know any other language. And at that point, I think the violence to the one in individual is worth it because you're saving so many other people. That's a very hard decision to make and who gets to make that and what is really fair in the end. I think it's very difficult to make that decision. I feel violence isn't good in any manner and to gain power you have to deserve it and violence you don't deserve it. So obviously no. You should not use violence to gain power. What are your thoughts on people using violence to gain control and power? That is the most vague, <laughs> poorly worded question I have ever heard in my entire life. I could not answer that question unless I was in a Miss America pageant. World hunger. Okay, bye. <laughs> Why are we enemies? Why can't we be friends again? Because of this war. I'm sick of the squad. I want to be comrades again, like well, the old times. You want to be friends again? Yes. We must throw away these guns and this uniform, and we can be friends again like Cat and Albert. Exactly.
I feel like everyone hates me. I feel like I just need to cry. I feel like I'm trapped in my own mind. I don't even know what to do. My personal opinion is um, verbal because it leaves long-term emotional scars. Um, verbal violence because in physical violence people get hurt. Also because uh, physical <laughs> violence, it's like fighting fire with fire and nobody wins. I think Sorry. that verbal or emotional abuse is by far the worst. It has the most lasting effects because it can become part of someone's psyche where in their belief about themselves versus physical, which I feel someone can overcome over time. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Kip and Grant Show. Today we have a special guest. Her name is Jasmine. Jasmine, why don't you come on out? Um, we're going to be talking Hi with guys. you a little bit today about domestic violence and your experience firsthand with it. So go ahead and tell us about it. I've just always come from a broken home. My parents never showed me any affection or love. And I've just always desired someone to just show me that they cared. And they've always just been very aggressive and just beaten me. And it's just, it's broken me mentally and physically. And it's just, I mean... I've well, why don't we why don't we talk about a little bit more on the sorry to interrupt you but a little bit more on the phys on the um, actual mental side and what that's done for you and what it's prohibited you from doing. I've always been insecure. It's caused me to like just have no confidence in myself and I've just been scared to meet new people and it's it's made me like very shy and timid and I'm just I'm very scared to be alone and So do you say that you isolate yourself a little bit? I do. And it's it's not a good thing. I've also to come out of this phase, I've um, created a foundation that's helped girls um, in homes like mine. And it's great. Yeah. So I, um, I'd like to show you a couple of the clips from my video. Absolutely. Or from my foundation. Definitely. Let's Definitely. get to it. Let's go. Take a break. Let's go see some more. I think it's a big problem that we have and we should be working harder to fix it by having people that you can talk to and places you can go to like relieve your stress if you do have domestic violence at home. So it would be a lot easier to go through and talk to people if you have a set up place and they know about it. Like it's not only to have it, but you gotta show it to everybody so they know that they can go there. Thank you. Thank you. I think domestic violence is uh, unacceptable and I think that it uh, just causes more problems, especially at home, and it pretty much just breaks families. Mr. Hankton, what is your point of view on domestic violence? Um, well, I think that domestic violence is wrong. I think any uh, abuse of your spouse, abuse of your kids, abuse of period, I think that uh, people should be punished. So, 
going to jail, jail time, whatever the process is. I, Macbeth, declare that we shall go take over Macduff's castle. I want to seize his power and take over everything he has. Let's go do it. Yeah! Go. Woo! Get in there. Violence could be so long lasting that it's very impactful on the victim, but then so can verbal. But then also, some verbal violence or violent type threats could be very small and don't last very long on the victim. So, it's I think it depends on what kind of violence or what degree of violence. Do I think violence solves problems in the home? I would say no. No, I think that if, if it gets to that point where you feel like you might need to be violent, then that's probably time you guys need to seek counseling or some other intervention. Physical violence and verbal violence have, um, can make a big impact on people's lives. Um, there are many cases where physical violence can be more detrimental than verbal violence. If People's conflicts can be fixed with words or can be helped with words. I would much prefer to see that happen. Um, in my own personal life, I've witnessed both um, on a regular basis, and it is uh, really sad to be a part of. Um, and hopefully, people can be civil to try and work out conflicts. Great commercials. I know the commercials were very violent, but it's for today's topic on the Kip and Grant show. Right now, Grant is on his phone talking to someone, but he needs a break anyway. But right now, I feel like a crunch up supreme with a beefy five layer. Goodbye! My point of view on domestic violence is wrong. Because domestic violence is terrible. And you know what about domestic violence? In the book of House of Spirits. <laughs> What's that guy's name in the house of fun? House of Fun!
Why are we angry? What happened to our friendship? It's because I'm sick of this war. I want to be comrades again. Be friends? Yeah. We must throw away these guns and throw away this uniform. <laughs> oh, that was so good. That was so good. Oh. Throw away these guns. And throw I'll say, away, I'll say we'll throw, throw away these guns. <laughs> I'll say we'll throw away these guns. <laughs> throw away these guns and stick the hand grenades. Ha, ha, ha.